Beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, Christ is in our midst. I hope you are having a wonderful day, staying safe in the comfort of your homes. This past Sunday, fourth Sunday of Great Lent, we heard the words of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ saying, This kind cannot be driven out by anything but prayer and fasting. Indeed, the demon or evil spirit of unbelief or lack of faith can only be driven out by prayer and fasting. It is why the church presented to us last week St. John of the Ladder, who embodies the icon of a life in prayer. This coming Sunday, fifth Sunday of Great Lent, we are presented yet with another icon, St. Mary of Egypt. This icon embodies a life of fasting. Yes, after spending a life of debauchery and profligacy since the age of 12, for 17 years, she drove that kind of demon out after being prevented from entering the Church of the Resurrection to venerate the precious and light-giving cross on its feast day. Upon gazing the icon of the Theotokos in the vestibule, having burst into tears and striking her chest, she prayed. After that, a voice whispered into her ear saying, If you cross the Jordan, you will find glorious rest. And having driven out that kind of demon, she was led to the desert to live a life of prayer, repentings, and fasting for 47 years. During these difficult times of self-isolation, when we are forced to fast even from the body and blood of our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ, let us remember Saint Mary, who embodied the perfect example of repentance through her life of fasting. Let us ask for her intercession unto the Lord our God, that he may be merciful unto us and allow us to one day break our fast of his life-giving manna so that we can be given life eternal. Amen. Oh, 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 oh.